So, Sylvester Stallone has decided to do his own superhero movie. Just a little bit late to the game, aren't we, Sly? Well, I guess he did beat some other people. Okay, 25 years ago there was a superhero called Samaritan and a supervillain called Nemesis. They both rose up and had a final conflict and in that final conflict they died. This boy is a huge fan of Samaritan and he believes that his neighbor might just be the hero he loves. And he's gonna get to the bottom of it and then you just get a straight up 90s style superhero movie. And you know what? I'm not mad about it. The kid in this movie, let's just call him Ashtray. He's absolutely sure that his neighbor is Samaritan and he is determined to prove it. Acting wise, I thought Ashtray was fine. Obviously, I'm upset now that I know what his voice sounds like. Two seasons of watching Euphoria and seeing this little kid be a total badass without saying a single word, it's ruined now. The character he plays is likable, but he's very stupid. I've seen a lot of characters like this before, and they were just much easier to root for. This version of that character was just okay. And stupid. Probably wouldn't be much of a survivor in the real world. Sylvester Stallone is the hero of our story. This kid just starts bothering him about being the long dead Samaritan, and he just kinda falls into the role after that. Yeah, he does have superpowers. I'm just not sure exactly how they work. Sometimes he gets cut and bleeds, or gets hit by a car and bleeds, and other times he's bulletproof. I guess it doesn't really matter. Stallone is an old guy now, and I don't know why, but I always assume that he's not going to give it 100%. And then he gives it 150%, and this movie is no different. Even if he's in a movie that's not that good, he'll still just go all out. And it's awesome. And yes, yeah, Stallone is awesome in this. For some reason, when uh, he fights in this, he doesn't ball up his fists. He fights with, like, open hands. He's just smacking dudes around with open hands. And I found that distracting. I don't know why he did that. So, I assumed this was going to be a dog shit movie. But it really wasn't. And that surprised me. It's not amazing, but considering it's on Amazon Prime and that's basically free, I'd say it's well worth it. I can guarantee you won't be bored. And sometimes it's even entertaining. The chemistry between Sylvester Stallone and Ashtray, I thought that was very good. Those conversations are when the humor comes out and makes you laugh. You know the dynamic, a rugged old guy that's bothered by a rambunctious teenager. There's nothing new there, but it works. When I say this is like a 90s superhero movie, I swear they gave Sylvester Stallone this script 30 years ago. And then he was like, maybe we can revisit this in 30 years. The 90s-ness of it, it reminds me of like uh, The Phantom or The Shadow or The Rocketeer or Steel. Now that I think of it, it's a lot like Steel, but it's a lot better than Steel. It's just got that 90s charm to it. About halfway through, I had a prediction for the outcome of the story. And I told myself, hey, at the end, if they do this, this might actually be a pretty cool movie. And you know what? They fucking did it. And once they revealed that twist, I was like, yep, I kind of like this. Not a bad movie. I had a good time. It's on Amazon Prime, and I'd say it's worth your time. I know most of you aren't going to watch this anyway, so I'm going to spoil the movie after my uh, thunderclap here, okay? See ya! Subscribe! Okay, spoilers for the big twist in Samaritan. If you don't want to know about the big twist, get the fuck out of here. In this world, there were only ever two superpowered people. They were brothers. One was good, he became a Samaritan. One was bad, he became this guy Nemesis. The whole villain of this movie is a gang leader that is taking up the mantle of Nemesis. We've got a new Nemesis on our hands. So Samaritan comes out of retirement to stop him, right? Not quite. About halfway through the movie, I noticed that people keep calling Sylvester Stallone Samaritan. But 
he never actually acknowledges that he is Samaritan. And that got me thinking, oh, this would be sweet if Stallone was actually Nemesis. And that's what it was. Sylvester Stallone is the villain Nemesis. That fact adds an entirely new level of depth to the whole story. First, the new Nemesis rises up thinking he has the same ideologies as the old Nemesis only to have his world crushed when he realizes that the guy he's been fighting against the whole time is his idol. And his idol is the one trying to stop him. Conflicting ideologies. Yes. Then take the nemesis character himself, Stallone. He kills his only brother, the only other person that has powers like him in the whole world, and that act literally stops him from being evil when he realizes what he's done. He's dormant for 25 years and then throughout this movie he slowly becomes the guy that his brother was. He carries on his brother's legacy and he becomes Samaritan. That level of depth is a slightly higher level of thinking here. And that's good, right? I'm not crazy, am I? Is this movie actually good? 